Hello everybody and welcome to our preschool kindergarten class. My name is Sister Antoinette and today's lesson is about your first love. And our Bible point for today is that Jesus will reward those who love him. So let's talk about some things that we love. See, I love my toys here. So I have my toys up here with, with me for every lesson. Uh, I love food, right? I love certain foods. I love the color blue. I think the color blue is a very pretty color. Now what are some things that you love? Begin to list some things that you love that you like to do. Now, when we say we love something, it means we enjoy it. We like to do that thing, right? But when we say we love a person, it means that person is very special to us and we enjoy spending time with that person, right? So I love my mom. I love my dad. I love my brothers and my sisters. I have all these people that I love, but I also love Jesus because Jesus is very special to me. So when we say we love Jesus, it means that he is special to us. Right? And we love him. We want to please him. We want to do things that make him happy. That means we have to obey him. So we're going to talk about today how we can show our love to Jesus. But first, I want us to see how Jesus showed his love for us. So we're going to check out this video about God's love. And then we're going to go through some ways that we can show love to him. Let's look at this, guys. God's story. God reminds his family he loves us. So part of God's story is about how God reminds his family he loves us. It goes like this. For some reason, God's family has always had trouble remembering that He loves them and keeps His promises. It's happened throughout history, and it still happens today. The great thing is, God loves us so much that He's given us some pretty cool reminders. One of the first reminders God gave us was right after He saved Noah and his family from a huge flood. God wanted Noah to trust that there would never be a flood that big again. So He set a rainbow in the clouds and told Noah to remember to trust Him every time He saw one. We still see rainbows today, sometimes even double rainbows. Anyway, years later, a man named Abram was told he'd be the father of God's special family. This was before Abram had any kids at all. So God gave him a new name, Abraham. Every time he heard his new name, Abraham remembered God's special promise. And sure enough, God began a family through Abraham. But as the family got bigger, they suffered in a land far away from their home. Now God promised them a beautiful new home, even better than their old one. Problem is, while they waited for it, they had to sleep in tents in a desert. Before long, they completely forgot God was creating a home for them. But since God always keeps his promises, they did get to their new home, and it was wonderful. But God asked them to sleep in tents again one week every year. That way, they'd remember that God loves them, even when they go through tough times. And actually, it's a lot like how we're waiting for Jesus to return and recreate the world into our perfect home. Well, later on, Jesus came to earth to rescue us, but people still forgot God's love. So Jesus told us to remember he loves us and takes care of us when we see birds and flowers. Birds don't grocery shop, but they eat. Flowers don't buy new outfits, yet they always look beautiful. And Jesus knew that even after he rescued us, we would forget he loves us. Kids. Jesus' rescue was the most loving act in the history of the universe. But even Jesus' best friends would need reminders of it once he was in heaven. So Jesus gave them, and us, another way to remember. It happened during dinner the night before the big rescue. First, Jesus broke bread and said to eat it and remember that he broke his body. He drank wine and said to drink it and remember that he shed his blood. The disciples didn't understand what that meant until later, after Jesus died to rescue us. We still eat bread and drink wine to remember Jesus' rescue. It's oh. called communion. Well, three days after Jesus died, he came back to life. And guess what? We get a reminder of that too. See, Jesus invites everyone to follow him and join his family. When we get baptized, we show everybody that we made that choice. Baptism reminds us that Jesus was buried and came to life again. Now, even with all these reminders, we forget sometimes. That's why Jesus told us stories like the prodigal son. The prodigal son ran away and acted like he didn't have a loving father. But as soon as he wanted to go home, the father welcomed him back as a son. He even gave him a robe and a ring to wear as reminders that he was part of the family. And when we forget God is our loving father, we can return to him as sons and daughters in his family too. And that's the story of how God reminds his family that he loves us. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. We forget God loves us. God gives his family reminders, like rainbows, new names, tents, birds, flowers, communion, and baptism. He told us stories like the prodigal son. 
We still forget, but God always reminds us and welcomes us back to His family. And that's a part of God's story. So did you see how God shows His love for us in that video? Right? God knows that we have the tendency sometimes to forget Him, so He always comes to show us that He still loves us, that He's still here for us. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was little, when I was your age, my parents would give me a lot of toys, right? And I would play with these toys all the time because I loved them. They were my favorites. But then one day, I would stop playing with those toys and I'd get a different toy. So let's say I'm playing with this toy right here, right? I play with this toy for a long time and I like it, right? It's really fun, but then I get bored with it. So I put this toy to the side and I start playing with another toy. I play with my blocks over here. This is how Jesus began to feel when the church in Ephesus stopped loving him and they started loving other things, right? So Jesus had this church in a city called Ephesus, right? And Jesus wanted his disciple John to write them a letter because they loved Jesus at first. When they first fell in love with Jesus, they served him. They always prayed. They always wanted to talk to Jesus. But after a while, Jesus became like this forgotten toy, right? They put that down and they started going to do other things. And Jesus did not like that. So he told his disciple John to write a letter to that church. And in that letter, Jesus said he was happy because they always wanted to seek the truth, right? They were a people who didn't lie and they didn't listen to liars. And Jesus said, I'm happy you do that. But there is something that I have against you. He said, you pay attention to other things more than you pay attention to me. Right. And we don't want to treat Jesus that way. We want to let Jesus know that we love him, that we will always love him and that we will always keep him first, that he will always be our first love. So we're going to jump into our activity video and we're going to talk about things that we can do to show Jesus that we love him and to help us to continue to love him. So if you have your parents watching with you right now, I want you to pause the video because we have an activity sheet for you to print out if you're able to print. You're going to go to ctacma.org. That's the church's website. You click on the ministries tab and go to Christian education. And underneath our video for today, you'll find a link to print the activity sheet for today. Now, if you don't have the ability to print at home, that's okay. Uh, I want you to just give the student a sheet of paper, give them their crayons or their color pencils, and they can draw and color right along with us. So pause the video if you have the chance to do that now and go print out the worksheet. If not, I want you to take a look at this and do our activity with us. Okay, so we have our activity sheet here, and let's read our directions. Our directions says, look at the pictures and circle the ones that will help us love Jesus. So I'm going to start by coloring the heart in the middle of the paper. I'm going to color the heart red. Now you can color your heart any color you want, but I want mine to be red. Okay. And then we're going to circle the ways that help us to love Jesus. Now, I'm going to circle mine in green. But again, you can pick whatever color you want. You see, I have all my colors over here. So whatever color you want to circle with, you can pick up your crayon now. And now let's start at the top. Now, we see this little girl here, and she's pushing a little boy down. Now, that's not a way we can love Jesus. So we're not going to circle that one. Jesus doesn't want us to be mean to people. But let's go over here. We see a little boy, and he's reading his Bible. Now, that's a way we can love Jesus, right? Right, so we're going to circle that one. Okay, good. Now we have another little boy here on the side. And he's lifting his hands. It looks like he's worshiping, right? So we're going to circle that one. Because worship is a way that we can love Jesus. Okay, and now we have a little girl here at the bottom. Now look, she looks like she is sleeping. Now at first, sleeping is a way that doesn't look like it shows our love for Jesus. But... We can't do any of these things that show that we love Jesus if we don't have enough rest, right? If we don't get our sleep. So we're going to circle that one because that is a way that we can show our love for Jesus by getting the rest that we need so we can do everything he tells us to do. And then we have a little boy here on the bottom on the left. And let's see, what does he look like he's doing? He looked like he's praying, right? He's kneeling on the side of his bed here and he is praying. And so that is definitely a way we can love Jesus. We're going to circle that one. And now let's look at this little girl. Now she's lifting her hands like this little boy over here. So we said this little boy was worshiping. We can say this girl is praising Jesus, right? So when we're in church and we see people lift their hands, they can be praising or they could be worshiping Jesus. So we're going to circle both of those pictures with the little kids lifting their hands. 
And now let's look at the last one. This shows a little boy about to be baptized. Now being baptized is the way we can love Jesus, right? Right, so we're gonna circle that one too. Now we have all these ways where we can show our love for Jesus. And now let's look at our review questions here at the bottom. It says, what did John send to the church in Ephesus? And we see the answer here. It says, a letter with a message from Jesus. Remember, we talked about John sending the church a letter. Now, our next question says, what did the church in Ephesus forget to do? They forgot to love Jesus, right? They forgot to do all these things to show their love for Jesus. And now it says, name one thing that we can do that will help us love Jesus always. Right now, it says the answers will vary because there's a lot of answers here. We can read our Bibles. We can worship. We can make sure we're rested so we can do what he tells us to do. Right? We can pray. We can praise God, lift our hands and praise him. We can also be baptized. So there's lots of ways that we can show our love for Jesus. And so we look at the scripture at the bottom. It says Revelation chapter 2 verse 4. And it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou had left thy first love so we see here and we talked about it earlier in our video that God was upset with the church in Ephesus because they left their first love they forgot to do all these things to show their love for Jesus so I want you to take some more time here I want you to finish coloring your paper and circling all the ways that you can love Jesus and I want you guys to color those ways in color in all the ways that we can show our love for Jesus and then I want you to color in John in the middle we see John here is writing the letter to the church and he's thinking about the ways that we can love Jesus so you see the heart here in this thinking bubble he's thinking about all the ways that we can love Jesus so I want you to color that and remember this week focus on all the ways you can love Jesus so I have my activity sheet here. Now, if you weren't able to print this out, that's okay, right? Because you can draw different ways that you can love Jesus. So I want you to draw yourself reading your Bible. That's the way that we can show love to Jesus, right? You can draw yourself praising God. That's the way that we can show love to Jesus. And this way at the bottom is a different way. Remember from my video, she is sleeping. Now, sleeping is important because we have to be rested if we want to praise Jesus or if we want to serve him and do what he says. We have to be rested in order to do that. So we circled the girl sleeping here. And then we have this little boy kneeling and he is praying. And this little girl, she is worshiping and praising God here. And then we have a little boy being baptized. So these are all these different ways that we can show love to Jesus. So I want you to take the time to draw that out. If you have your activity sheet, you can finish coloring it in and showing all the ways that we can love him. Now we're gonna pray right now so that we can continue to show the love of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for our Sunday school lesson. And God, we pray that you help us to show our love for you. We don't wanna be as the church in Ephesus, God, and forget about you and forget that we love you and just put you to the side and start doing other things. We want to always show that we love you. So we lift your name, Jesus, and we pray that you help us to show love. Help us to pray, help us to read our Bibles, help us to be kind to others and be nice to others. Help us to obey our parents help us to do all the work that we're supposed to do god we pray that you help us to worship you and to praise you all the rest of the days of our lives in jesus name we pray amen well i thank you for joining me for today's lesson i pray that you use this week to show jesus some of the ways that you love him right you can pray with your siblings or with your parents you can have someone read you some bible scriptures there are lots of ways that we can show that we love jesus so I pray for you all to have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody.